Well, biologicals have been around for a long time, actually, since the early 1900s, I believe, and uh, the technology has actually come a long way. Um, there's a lot of companies that are pouring more and more money into research and development, and even buying out smaller companies that focus on biological products themselves. Um, so with that, you know, companies are find, finding new strains, um, antifungal, antibacterial products, um, you know, fermentation processes and methods are getting more efficient and we're seeing the, the results from biological products uh, are get, the field performance from biological products are, is doing really well, very comparative to some of the traditional or synthetic chemistries that you're seeing out there. So biologicals have, have come a long way and I think um, more and more growers and companies are realizing that these are good products and an opportunity for them. I think, I think initially growers were thinking that, you know, biologicals were to be used on organic farms only, right? Um, more on the horticulture, agriculture side of things. But I think more and more now they're seeing the benefits of these products from a resistance management perspective. They're also seeing very, very good control with these products. So now you're getting, you know, biological use in crops like canola, pulses, cereals that you typically wouldn't see as much of. And because of those, you know, the, the good efficacy we're seeing with these types of products, the adoption rate is becoming more and more, um, more and more towards these products. And because they're so comparable to, um, to synthetic chemistries now. There's definitely some benefits to using biologicals with synthetic chemistries, um, especially from a resistance management point of view, right? You're getting two different modes of action, uh, or not two different, you're getting multiple modes of action with when you're using a biological. They're typically multi-site, so they're really tough to, to handle from a resistance management point of view um, because they're attacking disease from different angles, different methods. So. Um, there's definitely some synergies that can be realized with that. Right, it's, yeah, it's a totally different mode of action, totally different classification. I mean, you're basically taking something like a, um, a naturally occurring fungus in the soil and you're fermenting it and it, you're bottling mother nature and you're using that product as a natural predator of certain diseases. So um, it's, it's pretty unique, very neat, totally different than anything else out there. And um, the fact that the efficacy is comparable to those other products now, I think a lot of guys are wanting to use them. So with biologicals, sometimes they work similar to, you know, timing-wise to other synthetic chemistries. For instance, um, like this year when guys are spraying for canola or spraying their canola for sclerotinia, typically you're spraying between 20 and 50 percent bloom. Um, we have a biological fungicide called Serenade and it's applied at the same time as those other synthetic chemistries like a Proline or an Astound or a Lance. Um, the difference is the mode of action and you do get some induced systemic response from the plant because it recognizes it as a pathogen, it automatically boosts its defense mechanism. So you're getting that natural plant response on top of the product killing the fungus um, multi-site as well. So with a product like that, the timing's similar, but it just, it works a little bit differently and you get some plant activity um, with it as well. Um, with another biological uh, we have called Contens WG, it's, it's a different way of fighting sclerotinia and farmers need to wrap their minds around when they're applying it. It's not in season, you're applying a product like that uh, pre-harvest, post-harvest and it's pre-seed. So with that product you're actually fighting the cause of sclerotinia which is the sclerotia or the inoculum buildup in the field itself and that's the only product out there that I know of that does that but again that's uh, it's a totally different way of thinking it's a very progressive way of fighting a certain disease and I think with biologicals that's going to be their strength is is fighting diseases in a different way than we've ever seen before mm -hmm.